I know that Feynman once said famously, if you think you understand quantum mechanics, you don't understand quantum mechanics. And many worlds, which as we've already mentioned, is your preferred theory or interpretation of quantum mechanics. It gives an account of many of the well-known puzzles like entanglement that we discussed. Uh, But are there still any major mysteries for you about quantum mechanics that you would still classify as major mysteries? Yeah. So by the way, Feynman never said that. That's a misattribution. What he actually said was uh, in the character of physical law and elsewhere, he said, I think it's safe to say that nobody understands quantum mechanics, which is very different than saying, if you think you understand it, you don't. He just says no one does, which is fair if you interpret understanding quantum mechanics as having an understanding that everyone else agrees with, right? Certainly there's no consensus within the field. Um, I do think that Many Worlds is overwhelmingly likely to be the right foundational uh, approach to quantum mechanics. But within Many Worlds, there's absolutely important questions. I mean, the most obvious one, I guess there's two very obviously important ones. One is the origin and nature of probability, which I think is mostly under control and understood. The other is the connection to the classical world. Because if you start with this idea that there is only one wave function, Hugh Everett originally titled his paper, The Theory of the Universal Wave Function, because that's what he was emphasizing uh, when he invented what we now call many worlds. And that that wave function is just a vector in Hilbert space. That's very, very far away from the world of particles and fields and tables and chairs and things like that. So the question of why we think that the world looks like this emergent higher level description um, is very pressing within many worlds in a way that in other theories, it's just not because they put it in by assumption, right? So there's a bunch of problems that, you know, they don't have to solve in other approaches because they just assume the answer from the start. But many worlds is very lean and mean. There's not a lot of room for tweaking the theory. It's a vector in Hilbert space evolving according to the Schrodinger equation. So You have to learn how to reconstruct the world of our experience, and that's a very, very difficult problem.